October the 6th, Europe's leaders gather in Prague, but Russia isn't invited. That the French president, Emmanuel Macron, who I believe at least is an antichrist figure, I believe it's stronger than that. I was shown his face in 2001 by Gabriel. This isn't common news, but I'm telling you. 2001, December, Gabriel tells me in the, what is four days, not all day, but four days, I don't think I could have take, taken more than the time I had. He says, keep your eyes on these four nations. Greece is going to want another Alexander the Great. Italy's one, going to want an emperor. Spain is going to want a queen. And France is going to want a Napoleon. When he said France, a face came right up in front of me. I can see it as plain as I can see Chris is right there, only closer. This is 2001. I knew that this man that I'm looking at from France is the Napoleon to which Gabriel had just referred me to. The scene changes, and I watch as the uh, Pope declares that man to be God on earth in Europe. When he said that, millions of Catholics rose up and said, no, he isn't God on earth. And the bloodletting began. The scene switched to where I saw a motorcade, black cars, one white. And this man I saw the face of was coming in to Jerusalem. And they were throwing branches in front of the motorcade and crying, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Well, this France leader was in the open in the motorcade. Emmanuel Macron refers to himself, has referred to himself as Napoleon directly. That has already occurred. Refers to himself as Jupiter. What do you think I believe? When I saw him, I did not see him at the age he was. He's only 44. 2001 much younger. I did not see him at his age then. I saw him at his age he is now. I did not know. I never had looked at his picture until Heather's sitting here. She could verify this until Ben and Heather came to our house one night. Ben was telling me a story of something. This was some months ago, right, Heather? Ben was telling me a story of an encounter he had with the French president. He said, who refers to himself as Napoleon. And as soon as Ben said that, I grabbed Donna's phone, pulled up Emmanuel Macron, and that was the face I was shown. Back to what happened on October the 6th, the next day. I feel prompted of the Lord to look at the headlines coming out of Europe, and particularly Emmanuel Macron. Europe's leaders gather in Prague, but Russia isn't invited. Forty-four nations were brought together. It is said here, you can read the article, it is the brainchild of Emmanuel Macron. <laughs> Go figure. The next day, they meet in Prague, one of the, I'm sorry, but has a history. That city has a very uh, evil history. <laughs> Let's say it that way. They meet in Prague. Emmanuel Macron pushing for, as he has done, he and Boris Johnson spoke about this months ago, just so you'll know, using the Latin language calling for the revived Roman Empire. Emmanuel Macron. British Prime Minister at that time, Boris Johnson, using the Latin language. You can go back and look at it. Calling for a military, a Europe that has its own military combined. So the 6th is followed on the 7th by another headline, Macron takes center stage in Europe. Can you say the rider of the white horse was released on the 5th? 
Indeed he was. Should be those kinds of things go on, right? Yeah. Proof is in the pudding, not just something said. Right. This be true? And we should be able to see some things begin. So, guys, I want to say some things to you. Number one, I want to say to Europe this. Brothers and sisters in Europe, 